Hello, everybody. I'm Dorothy Morgan. I'm a professional astrologer. We're going to do our little daily message, a little bit of astrology, a little bit of the, here we are, Astro Dice. You know, people are trying to find these. They are not $50. Don't pay $50 for these. And you don't have to get them in the tin. You can get them for, I don't know, 5 or $6 if you just get the dice. One has the planets, one has the zodiac signs, and one has the houses. And you just need an astrology book. You don't need the tin that they come in. They come in a tin, and that's where I keep all my pendulums. <laughs> Use the tin. But you don't have to buy the tin, okay? I made this myself years ago. Who douses? I douse, but sometimes I can't douse my own questions. And also, I made that one, and I have like three or four others. So anyways, these come in a tin, but you don't have to get them in the tin, all right? There's a UK company that makes them, and they're like $50. And seriously, I paid 10 for these. Don't pay $50. And then we use an Oracle deck and you can use the, whatever you like. So what's going on today, astrologically, before we roll the dice and after that dialogue, <laughs> we have, um, let me get my face out of the way and let's pull up this chart right here. I wanna just do the chart with declination. I like using the declination because when things um, are happening in the sky, sometimes we can't see it through the, um, the zodiac to that measurement of where planets are. Let me get that out of the way. However, we can see it by declination. And I mean, we know the moon is, is balsamic right now. So it's at the end of its cycle, it does not become new until Wednesday, the second here on the East coast, it's at 1235 uh, PM just after noon. I do have that video, um, it will be attached to the end of this. So you can just click in the top right-hand corner and see it or however you wanna get there. But what I do see here is by declination, that looks like the moon, it's sure hard to see, the moon, Venus, and Mercury. So here's the moon, here's Venus, and here's Mercury. They're not by aspect, they're not aspecting each other. However, they are together by this other measurement, which is just north or south of the uh, celestial equator. Um, of the path of the sun, I mean, and north and south in here, they're both, they're all south, just tells us that they are working in tandem, even though they don't look like it up here in the aspects. I know that was a lot of deep astrology right there for some of us who don't understand astrology. So what is this that's telling me is like we, it's, it's about the values of communication and, you know, what is it, those ideas that we need to release and let go because those ideas is the Aquarius, the moon is balsamic, Mercury is also in Aquarius coming to conjunct Saturn. So that's a lot of astrology. So it just says the thinking, processing, balsamic lunar phase. Let's don't be anxious to make things happen. Still let things be. Still allow still surrender to what is. I'm not saying be a doormat. I'm saying just surrender to what is going on in your head or in your heart. Surrender to that just for the next 26, seven hours, okay? From the time of this posting. Let's roll the dice and see what else spirit would like us to know about. This is coming up a lot because Pluto is very strong these days. We can see the the grab for power and control and what's happening in the world. And Pluto is the, the planet that showed up here in the sign of Gemini, which is in the fourth house. So whoever this message is for, and generally speaking, Pluto is that the Lord of that change of transformation of either grabbing power and being, you know, overbearing and a bully or accepting uh, your own power and stepping up and um, being, you know, stepping into your own, stepping into your own power with it in the sign of Gemini, the vibration of that is we need to communicate this. And being that it's in the fourth house, that area is well known for being about our home, our family. This is definitely speaking to peace talks that may or may not be happening over in the Ukraine and Russia, but 
What about for you? Is there something that you need to have a conversation with somebody about? The fourth house, again, home and family and how that might be changing, but that fourth house is also the area of the chart, which is the deep psychological place, right? The, the deep psychology that we've come in with that our family has taught us. So there's this opportunity for us during this beautiful balsamic lunar phase to get to the bottom of something psychological that has been on your mind. See what the native spirit deck wants to tell us. I haven't picked a card yet today, so we're going to do that. Sometimes I do it beforehand, but I didn't. Storyteller flew out of the deck when I was shuffling this morning. So let's see what happens now. Oh, Eagle medicine is on the bottom. That's about soaring above, above and beyond. But the card I picked, we are wounded, the wounded healer. I've picked this card before. Sometimes we just pick certain cards regularly, and this is one of them. I picked this one last month. Since March, today's March 1st. <laughs> last month wasn't that long ago, but I think I picked it in, in January. The wounded healer is simply that. It's like, where am, where am I? I wounded. Let me process my wounds. Let me learn and understand. Let me move through them. And then I'm able to help others in whatever capacity suits you. You don't have to go and become a therapist. However, when you go through something and you're, you're even when you're in a group of like-minded people, say people who are widowed or, you know, that's a good one, right? This Pluto has been on our minds these days and Pluto's about death and regeneration. So with that wounded healer card where you have been wounded and feel that, you know, that deeper pain that you have processed, it doesn't go away, but you've processed it and it finds a place in your heart, then you're able to help others with that too, right? And, and, be, and be that knowing sh that shoulder that they know they can, you know, put their head on, or I know what you, I know how you feel has true meaning when we engage the wounded healer within us all. All right, balsamic phase. I'm ready for the new moon. I'm ready for some forward movement and a few things in my life that haven't had any, I have no traction yet whatsoever in the housing market. Yeah, we'll see. Thank you guys. I'm eternally grateful for you. Blessings and namaste.